What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Kevin Holland versus Tim Means. Now, Kevin is an interesting fighter. People love him. He's very personable. Seems like a real down to earth dude. Never met him. So I could be wrong, but that is the perception that he gives off to me. He doesn't lack confidence. He doesn't lack skill. He's got a long reach. He's got a very good right hand. He's a good striker. And if you take him lightly, he'll throw that straight hand and you'll get dropped. As we saw in his fight against Joaquin Buckley, right? He's a much more of a thinker than most people think. He's got a lot of skills and the man likes to fight. I mean, in 2020, the man fought five times. You don't really see that in this era, right? You might see your favorite fighter fight maybe once or twice, but he's fought five times. I got to respect that. Now, Kevin talks a lot and he talks a lot, right? Especially in the fight. And I've seen it work with him and I've seen him work against him and distracted him. And I thought costed him a fight, but that's the nature of him. That's how he goes into the ring. That's the character that he is. That's what works for him. He's been consistent in that format. And if you're fighting Kevin Holland, you have to come in focus and ignore what he's going to say. Because if he baits you into talking back, he's going to take you out. And I'm sure Tim and his team have talked about that as well, too. So you got to be weary of that. Now, let's talk about Tim Means real quick, right? He's, he's not as quick nor as explosive as Kevin is. But he's got a good left hand. He's a good pressure fighter. He's a good, well-balanced fighter. He's got a good ground game, a submission game. Like, he's a good, balanced fighter. Now, he's coming into this fight with a three-fight win streak, so I know he's feeling good. I know he's feeling confident. He's feeling mentally at the position right now where he feels like, this is my time. But I have to go back to his fight against Danny Rodriguez, right? Because Kevin and Danny have some similar attributes some similar strengths. In that fight, Tim couldn't close the gap on Danny. Danny hid behind that jab and kept moving around the octagon, and Tim was applying constant pressure. But he couldn't get in close, and he couldn't get in the inside against him. And if he can't get in the inside against, against Kevin Holland, it's going to be a much harder fight to win. I'm not sold that Tim Means has a strong enough chin to withstand the pressure and the aggression of Kevin Holland when he goes on the offensive rush. Tim is a pressure fighter. But sometimes when you're a pressure fighter, you put yourself at risk when you keep coming in and not taking a step back to see if what you're doing is actually working, that you walk into a shot. And we all know in combat sports, the shots that hurt you the most are the ones when you don't see coming. And oftentimes when you are applying pressure and continuing to come forward, you just don't think that they're going to shoot that right hand or that left hand or that kick because you're the one supposed to be applying the pressure and they react and you get countered in a way you didn't see coming. So in this fight, I think he needs to be more of a tactical fighter. I think he needs to step back and to see what type of game plan Kevin Holland is bringing into the octagon before he makes his move. I'm not saying you have to, to, to not throw any jabs or any hooks. I'm not saying you should not do your game plan. I'm just saying maybe wait a little bit to see what is the dynamics of what is happening inside the octagon. And I think he needs to shoot for more takedowns because as we've seen, Kevin Holland, he can get taken down. And if he is the more explosive and more dynamic fighter, then perhaps you can control this fight by taking it to the ground and seeing what you can do there. So I'm interested to see how this one is going to play out. Interested to see what the game plan both of these fighters are going to come in to the octagon with. Because the reality is in sports, right? While Kevin is the more talented fighter, I think he's got more tools in his toolbox. That doesn't mean we should write him off. Because if you can come in with a better strategy and a better game plan than the talented opposition, then you often actually have the upper hand because you'll be more focused and more dialed in and locked in and more aware not to let the moment pass you on when you can seize your opportunity. But for me, I have Kevin Holling winning this one by KO. I think Tim is going to come out and apply the constant pressure that he's always done. But I think he is going to walk into a shot that he didn't see coming. I think he's going to walk into a shot that he wasn't prepared for. I have Kevin Holland winning this one by KO. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've been watching this long, definitely subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.